Here we have a rocket which is moving with a constant speed, just drifting through space from point A to point B. There are no external forces acting on the rocket. It's moving, it's just gliding to the right with a constant speed. And when it reaches point B, the rocket engine starts. There is a constant force which acts right. So let me draw, let me draw the rocket. So here we have the rocket at B. All right, and, and at this point, there is there is some sort of trust and because of this there is a force which acts on the rocket in the upward direction in this direction and constantly it acts so the engine doesn't shut after point b there is a constant force which acts on the rocket from point b onwards constant force in the upward direction right now the question is what will be the path of the rocket after point b so pause the video and give this one a try. All right, hopefully you gave this a shot. Let's look at option A. So when we look at option A, we see that the rocket after the engine starts at point B, after a constant force which starts acting in the vertical direction at point B, the rocket follows this path. What does this path really mean? Well, because it's moving at a certain angle, it means there must be a vertical velocity and there must be a horizontal velocity. There is a horizontal velocity. We know it's moving to the right. And because there is the engine starts, there is a constant force at B, there is some vertical velocity. But when we look at the path, we see that the vertical velocity is constantly decreasing. It's constantly decreasing, constantly decreasing because you can see the path is becoming more and more horizontal. It starts to become, it starts plateauing, but the horizontal velocity stays the same. Now, Will the vertical velocity decrease in this case? Think about it. When velocity is decreasing, there must be some acceleration, right? And in this case, if the vertical velocity is decreasing, there must be an acceleration in the opposite direction, which is decreasing the velocity. If there is an acceleration in the downward direction, there must be a force in the same direction. But the force is actually in the upward direction, right? So option A is wrong. The velocity, the vertical velocity will not really decrease. Let's look at option B. So for option B, it says that the rocket after point B will start moving vertically up. Well, but we do know that it, is a, it has a constant speed to the right direction. So it would have made sense if the rocket was stationary and the engine started and the force was in the vertical direction. But the rocket is moving to the right with a speed. So B is wrong. It will not go vertically up because it has a constant speed to the right. Option C says that the rocket will move at an angle. So let's try to analyze this path. When will this path be possible? Well, it's moving at an angle, which means it has some horizontal velocity and it has some vertical velocity. And because it's a straight line, it means the horizontal and the vertical velocity is constant throughout. Well, there is a force in the vertical direction. There is no force in the horizontal direction. So horizontal velocity might stay constant. Well, not might, definitely it will stay constant. There is no force in the horizontal direction, which means there is no acceleration or change in velocity in the horizontal direction. But there is a force in the vertical direction, constant force after point B, which means constant acceleration, which means constant change in velocity. But the velocity here is not changing. So option C is also wrong the vertical velocity should be changing constantly. Let's look at option D. So option D is interesting. Here is point B. Then option D says that after point B, the rocket will continue to move in the horizontal direction for some time, and then it will take a curved path. Well, will that really happen? Because if there is a force that starts acting at point B, there will be some acceleration in the upward direction and there will be some change, some minor change in the vertical velocity. And that minor change should be reflected in the path, right? Why will it continue to move in the horizontal direction with no vertical velocity? If it is gaining some vertical velocity at point B, it should, it should start moving in a curved path right from point B, right? Option D is also wrong. Well, option E, let's look at this. So there is a force that starts acting at point B. There is some gain in vertical velocity and the force is constant. So the vertical velocity is constantly increasing. The vertical force is constant. 
there is a vertical constant acceleration so the vertical velocity is constantly increasing so option e is the right option in this case